Hello and welcome to this short presentation about Nature Deficit Disorder. Today we'll be looking at what Nature Deficit Disorder is, why it matters and what can be done about it. Firstly, Nature Deficit Disorder, or NDD for short, is a term to describe human alienation from nature, particularly in children. For the current generation of children, experiences in nature are becoming replaced with modern technology such as mobile phones and televisions. This decreased exposure to nature has shown links to increased rate of childhood attention difficulties, obesity, violence, stress, disease and illness, and even depression. Psychological theories have been used to understand how the effect of nature deficiency can cause these negative psychological effects. The biophilia hypothesis suggests humans are evolutionary hardwired to have a strong connection with nature in all forms of life. Having a strong connection to nature prevents us from illness and disease and increases our overall mental health and well-being. If this connection between humans and nature is hindered, this may lead to various psychological and physical health problems. The stress reduction theory suggests natural environments facilitates restoration of stress, negative moods and fatigue. As many children in today's generation are spending more time in urban environments than in natural environments, children are suggested to be overloaded and overstimulated by noise, movement and visual complexity. These interactions can easily overwhelm children and result in psychophysiological stress. The attention restoration theory proposes exposure to nature helps humans improve mental focus and directed attention. Directed attention is the ability to focus on one task while blocking out distracting stimuli. Directed attention is important for everyday tasks such as driving a car or completing homework. However, it can become quickly fatigued. The most effective way to restore direct attention is by spending time in nature. If children do not spend enough time in nature, they might not be able to facilitate attention restoration, resulting in the risk of developing ADHD and other attention difficulties. Thankfully, NDD can be easily cured through spending meaningful time in nature. This can be done by simply going on a walk to your local park, playing sport, taking a hike, watering a garden, stargazing, or whatever you like and enjoy. Time spent in natural environment that stimulates our human sense of sight, sound, taste, touch and smell will ultimately help promote a strong connection to nature. It is suggested for both children and adults to spend at least 30 minutes outside every day to form a deep connection with nature and prevent developing NDD. Although, more is always better. For more information on this topic, visit the Wikiversity chapter linked below.